Hi guys, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm watching a couple of games on eBay. Uh, this one's a Gangster Town for the Master System. What did I just click that? Don't want to click that because it ends in a few minutes. And I've got Wonder Boy I'm watching as well, which I'm from the same seller. I don't know, I might go for it as well. Hundred percent positive feedback. Two pounds twenty is the current bid on this gangster town with the case. And yet down here someone's selling it as a bar now just at the cartridge. Five seventy four. Well I'd rather go up to that just to buy this. Actually I'm when well, I've got some time, I'm just going to check what I've got in PayPal. Log me in, please. Yeah, you can't see my password. <laughs> what have I got left? I've got enough to get two games. Oh, fuck me, I've got more than enough in there. So I've got £17.11. pence. I've only made two purchases, one of 385 and one of 299. <laughs> so that's not bad. Right. Uh, what I've been up to, I've been having a sort out in here. I've got a tub there which I'm just chucking random stuff in out of the way. Mostly stuff on the floor that I need to go through and sort out and put in a their rightful place, but uh I just want some room in here and the crap picked up off the floor. So that is what I'm doing for now. Um, these cables I'll stick back out on the landing. I'm going to clear this area so I can get that hospital there. So I'll actually get some videos done for the Lego channel because I haven't done any for a while. Dirty t shirt. Oh. I think. Ooh. Actually, it still smells clean, but if I remember rightly, I've got something spilt down the front of it. Uh, on my to get list, I want a computer chair in here or something, much like what I've got at the PC. Another one of those will do, and I want another one with the arms on, like my old one, which I've got to dispose of. Because uh, the. Um, air shock, air cylinder thing on it that adjust the height has gone on it. Uh, that's why I'm not using it. So I could want another one of those to use there and another one of those to use in the bedroom. Um, just because it would save taking this one in and out of the bedroom every time I want to use it, I might as well just get another one. They're cheap enough. As my brother said, I can get them on Gumtree cheap enough. Or um, one of my local charity shops get them in every now and again. And I do see them down the recycle centre as well. Um, I've got a new laptop coming soon. It's an Acer. And I can't remember the model number. Um, the keyboard don't work. This is one my brother um, bought with the intentions to fix it and use it. But he's changed his mind. He wants his desktop done. Um... So I might actually come to a deal with him. He wants a processor and the RAM. That's all that machine needs of his. If I buy them and uh, you know, if he shows me what he wants and he buy and I buy them, we can deduct that off what I owe him for the laptop. And whatever's left over that I still owe him, because uh, I know for a fact the processing RAM isn't going to total that, I don't think, because I'm giving him £60 for the laptop. So uh, I'll probably end up giving him like £20 cash for it, but as I have access to eBay to buy things, I'm just thinking that that would be easier. Because it just seems pointless to me that I'd hand him £60 
just for him to hand it back to me to get the parts for the computer. <laughs> if that makes sense. It's got an i3 processor on it, 4GB DDR3 memory, so memory wise it matches my PC, except my PC's got 4 core AMD, so it's one core short. <laughs> But uh, I doubt performance wise, I'd probably, considering what I do on a, the PC, I probably wouldn't notice any difference. Uh, so, yeah, I'll buy it, I'll get a new keyboard for it, which is going to cost me about £10, including postage. And it's in my watch list. I just hope no one buys that one. <laughs> Although there is plenty of those on there because it's a fairly recent laptop. <clears throat> Windows 7 is on it. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that here. I don't need it right this minute, but I'm sure uh, me and my brother can come to an agreement. Like I said, it'll be easier for me to get the bits myself to do the PC with, um, you know, the cash I owe him. I'm still just walking around picking up random bits. Because <sighs> I want some space to do these Lego videos. Screwdriver. Bollocks. <laughs> Lots of bike bits. I'll sort through this tub another day. I don't need to do it right this minute. I've got plenty of places I can stick the tub out of the way for the time being. Then I'll probably forget. <laughs> Knowing me, I will forget. I've got most of the bench cleared, at least. It's just my tools, a tub of screws, nuts. I need a bigger tub for the bolts. I've put them in a bigger tub, but I've still got my little tub there full. And my tin down there full. And some crimp bits. I need to find a tub for. I've got a load downstairs as well. I think I've got some in the bedroom unless I bought them through here last night when I was tinkering around. Can't remember. Yeah, I'm getting there though. Another little hammer. A bent claw. Can't remember how I did that. Levering something with it, I think, and I bent it. Right. Few things I'm going to put on eBay. I might wait till Monday to do those though. Ooh, I haven't checked my emails. Ooh, how long have we got left? Damn it! I missed it. No, 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 and the bids didn't even increase. Wonder Boy in Monsterland. I'm sure I had that when we had a Sega Master System years ago. Do I want it enough? Or do I leave it and have another look later? Or do I bloody no? <sighs> Got carried away with the camera and missed it. <laughs> That'll teach me, won't it? And again, I've got all these at 99p that I can bid on later. Now I'm watching. Okay, so the Mega Drive game's been posted, or marked as posted anyway. Don't necessarily mean it has been posted. <laughs> got anything on this page? No. What other items has he got? Okay. I think I'd be daft not to buy it at that price, to be honest. For some reason he's charging more postage on this one. If they're near Gangster Town. Let's just stick a bit in. If someone outbids me and they outbid me, I'm not too fussed, but if I win it, I win it. 
um, there's another Mega Drive game here I could get. A couple of bundles, I don't have the cash for those right this minute, I'm just watching them. I've just got football t-shirts. And an Apple iPod Touch 4th Gen 8GB. Cheap, £14.50. But I uh, don't want that. Nope, 52 seconds left on this game. Will I win it? Will I, will I, will I win it? It's not the one I really wanted, but will I win it? <laughs> You're the high bidder, increase maximum bid. No, I don't want to. £3.29 for the postage. Bit steep, but eh. I'll let him off because with, with a feedback score of 80, he probably hasn't done a lot. But I don't get why um, it was £2.80p for the other one, and they're exactly the same size, you know. This for the Sega Master System. Ten seconds left. I'm still a high bidder. No one's outbid me. No. No one else. No one else wants it. No, I've been outbid. <laughs> right at the last second. Oh well. Not to worry. Sure, I'll. Uh, I'll uh, find something else. Right, when well, I'm going to turn the camera off, get this little lot down here sorted at least. Things put back, well, roughly. I'll just throw all the larger tools in there and I'll put my spanners and screwdrivers back in here where they belong. And the hexagon keys and whatnot. Uh, adapters go through to the bedroom, power cables through to the bedroom. I think I forgot about this, I've got no idea if it works. Little MP3 player, no battery cover. That does look rather. Uh, <laughs> got no use for it to be honest because I've still got my Goodmans, but we'll see if that works later. So. On that note, I'm get my ass into gear. Because this camera's actually feeling rather warm, but it does warn you of that. Uh, I'll just look around and see what else I've got to throw in that box. I'll deal with that later. See you in a bit. Just a quick update I've been shopping on eBay. Excuse me. Um, I've gone and bought five games. Yeah, they're not boxed, but I don't really care about boxes, to be honest. Um, from the same seller, all offering free postage and a 10% discount when you buy, I think it's three. Um, so I went and bought GP Rider for the Master System. For the Mega Drive, Lotus 2 RECS, another pardon me, another one for the Mega Drive, Andretti Racing, Dick Tracy for the Master System, and World Grand Prix for the Master System. Give me a bit of a selection of games. And plus I've got Cycle Hedgehog 2 to come and Disney's Tailspin for the Mega Drive, so. Yeah, I, just, I was going to try and get them in cases, but I don't care, to be honest. And I've got this lot that I do want to get eventually. Four days left. No bids, but that could change, you know, towards the end. So, what am I watching? Action Fighter. For £4.50. I might actually delete that one. Because um, I've seen it for that price with a box, so... So I'm watching Rampage, um, Enduro Racer, Ghost House, Asterix, Lemmings, Cool Spot, Spy vs. Spy. Anyway, I just want to update on what I've been doing. I'm going to get back to work. I have floor back-ish. <laughs> uh, 
there's still a few bits to pick up but I can do that in a bit I'm uh, gonna do some egg sandwiches and uh, da, 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 boiled up some eggs and I've got them cooling in a pan up there for the simple reason I didn't think and filled the sink up with dirty dishes before doing the eggs because <laughs> I was a bit of a numpty so the only place I could leave them to cool well I left them in the bathtub because uh, I don't know I could have bought them through here actually let's go get them pull some of the water out so I don't spill it everywhere Right. Mm. Might leave my cool a little longer. And do something on the computer. Oh. I don't know. Something. Someone's already replied to the ad that I put up on Gumtree a couple of hours ago. Actually, screw stuck in my boot. Uh, wanted me to text him my address. Well, there's two problems with that. One, he didn't give me his mobile number. Two, I don't have any credit on my mobile to um, text him back with anyway. Because I don't use the damn thing. That's why I never bother putting credit on it. <laughs> um, so the only way I can send him an, my address is via Gumtree. If he hasn't replied sort of by nine o'clock tonight, then I'll uh, stick it up on eBay as well. Bigger audience. <sighs> I'm going to have my sandwiches, and then I'm going to move all these tubs because I don't need them anymore. They can go away now. I'm done with the tubs. I'm pretty certain I'm done with the tubs anyway. Uh, so I'll stack those. Some of them I'll stack in the cupboard under under the sink. Oh dear! there? <laughs> and the rest will get stacked in the cupboard in the hallway, along with my draper soldier gun because I don't need that out anymore. I'm going to keep the park side one out. So I've still got some desoldering to do. I might actually find something I can solder together for the heck of it, just to practice. Um, I think I'll play a few more games of solitaire and uh, eggs should be cold enough. I'm going to mix them with a little bit of salad cream, not mayonnaise. Because that is uh, pretty damn good. It's a shame I didn't have a pair of forks for this Peugeot frame because I could have built that. That would have been nice to get up for sale as well. But I don't got the forks. <sighs> Flame in hell. Right, I'll talk to you all later. Voila! Ish, I still got that box of fans there and those hexagon keys to pick up. A few bits there, but it's a bit more acceptable now. And I'm actually hot. I am actually sweaty. Um, I might have to go get my USB fan. <laughs> I don't know, I'll sit on the shelf behind me or something. Oh dear, uh, got the bench cleared so I've made um, some reviews up, one more to do but I've lost the green one of those, <laughs> oops, it doesn't matter, not really, pulled the curtain across because the sun was in my eyes while I was doing that, right, 
I suppose you want some food in your dish, do you? I'll do you in a minute then. I want some more money. I want some more Sega games. Keep trying to buy a mix. I don't care if they have, like I said, I don't care if I haven't got the case with them. Or the box, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, just so long as the game works. And I've deliberately got those stored under there, out of sunlight. As it does say, to keep them um, stored away from sunlight. Uh, probably even more so when you haven't got the boxes for them. I bought those on eBay. One, two, three, four, five games. Oh, I don't have five games. Six, seven. I'll have eight when the others arrive. And unboxed. <laughs> I have found a couple cheap that I boxed, like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Master System. I was the only person to put a bid on it for 99p. <laughs> Um, the seller's got positive feedback, so... Uh, I don't think... Ed, no, none of the ones I bought from that single seller have cases. So the only one I've got to arrive with a case is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I do believe I've got that for the Mega Drive. What have I got? I can't remember. Uh, um, Street, Streets of Rage 2, Road Rash 2, Sonic 2 for the Sega Genesis, which does play on the Mega Drive because I've played it, so I have actually got Sonic 2 for the Mega Drive. Uh, da, 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 da. Got Sonic 3. And Moonwalker. So I need the first Sonic for one or the other. I'll get Moonwalker for the Master System as well, because that's the first system I actually played it on. So, let's stack these nice and tidily up there. Oh. Just goes in. Just. But I think my Sega games, I'll clear these shelves and I will stack them in here. In fact, I might as well do that now. One of these days I will fit that bloody cycle computer to my Claude Butler bike. Actually, in fact, I might fit it to that one. I'll fit it to one of them. Squirrel, car I won in the arcades, van I got for Christmas, not just gone the Christmas before, Christmas 2015, I believe. So if I actually stack them that way round, I can see on the ends what they are, can't I? I wonder why some of them are deeper like that. Is it because it's a different brand? 1992. 91. Oh, it was an EA, that one. There we go. <laughs> I actually get quite a few stacked like that in there. And with them pushed up against the back there, there's less risk of dust getting in there. I'll do the same down here. But why don't you go and get one of my sticky clips and just... Uh, Stick those cables up there, but then again, I won't have no slack if I need it, will I? Right. How many Master System games have I got to come? Three, four. Because I got three from that same cell I bought two Mega Drive games from. I bought five in total. Uh, and that Sonic 2. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to next week. <laughs> Estimated day is Tuesday, according to eBay, but we'll see. Right. I don't know what I'm going to do this evening. No one seems to be in a chatty mood on Facebook. Uh, 
Now I've got this bench cleared, I suppose I could photograph these and get, might as well get these up. Something I can do then when I can find my cameras there. Twat, right in front of me. Uh, it's in good condition. No, it's just dust. Uh, no rust, it just needs a clean and a polish basically from where it's been stored. That's it. Light bulb is in there. You would need, or you should put like a rubber grommet in there because that's a sharp edge and those wires could chafe. But uh, I'm sure from a eBay or somewhere the bar can find those unless I've actually got them. That's sort of like a vintage style headlight. I actually can't remember why my buddy had that to be honest. And then I'm gonna put I think I'll just do these items for now. Uh, but before I list them I do need to uh, research. T3A, T4. <laughs> Safety and servicing notes. Hmm. I don't know. The folder itself isn't in good nick, but I suppose you could find a replacement one of these, couldn't you? To put everything in. There's a little bit of a... Uh, Sort of damp mould on that page, on the first two or three pages. And it's pretty clean after that. Yeah, that should be a 280 per um, parcel. Just wondering if they'd go as a large letter and they won't because that bit is too deep. Um, they are new, they are sealed in the bags. I do have all the mountain screws, so I will have a quick search on eBay, see what they're um, going for on there. <coughs> so, uh, it's nearly nine o'clock. Uh, I don't know, I'll leave it for now, and if I get up to much, I'll probably, well, put it this way, I hope I get up to something, so when I report back later, I have something to talk about. What a boring Friday night. <coughs> he says with a croaky voice. Oh, dear. Oof, I'm actually hot, look. Topless again. Expect a lot of that when the weather gets hotter. I love summer just because, you know, there's a lot more events and things held. Classic car shows, car boot sales, Chroma Carnival, blah blah blah. But I just don't like the heat. I really don't do heat. I'd rather go on a vacation somewhere cool. Rather than someone piping hot. I'm completely the opposite to Mum. She loves heat. She would be happy in the middle of the Sahara Desert. You know, while she's saying she's cold at home, we're all sweating our bollocks off, or at least I am. And the stepdad is, he doesn't like the heat either. It takes a lot for him to actually say, I'm cold. A bit like me, really. It takes a lot for me to say it. Nemo, that cannot be bloody comfortable. You know, for once I'm actually in the mood to play some vintage games, but... Games I want are not here yet. Um, I was meant to take that big screwdriver over to Mum's because I don't need it here. Well, it's only a cheapy one with a crappy wooden handle, but it'll be more use over at my bloody hell is that really the time? 
1043. Right, he's fast asleep. I think my plan of action is, is to finish this video. Uh, those are headset barons for that, so I want to keep that separate because I want to reuse those when I find some forks. I've got a blue pair in the shed, but they're too rusty. The chrome's rusted too much. Um, beyond cleaning, they've rusted, so... That just means when you squish down on them, the rust is just going to make them... Make it all chafe, so you won't get a nice smooth, you know, compress and return, so... Yeah. What the fuck is that in the middle of my TV screen? <laughs> Bit of bloody polystyrene from when I was sorting all that junk out. I got those up on eBay. I couldn't find it under like vintage retro headlamps, so I just eBayed motorcycle headlamps and I found quite a few. Um, I don't know what it's worth, but it does look brand new. There's no dents, there's no scratches. It needs a polish, because it's chrome, so there's fingerprints and crap all over it. There's no crack in the lens. The bulb is complete. All the wiring is there. So it's virtually new, although I listed it as used. I thought I'd better, because I can't actually, you know, prove it's new, so... Well, that would be perfect for, you know, a retro or vintage bike restore, restoration project, or even as an aftermarket headlamp for a more modern bike. So, uh, we'll see. I'll put the price at £10, I think, because it's cheaper than every other one that I've found listed, so I figured, um... The brand new ones I saw listed were sort of £25 up, so I figured a tenner for one like this unboxed was a fair enough price. In fact, I think that was probably a bit cheap, personally, but it was free, so I'll make a tenner on it, hopefully. Or did I put it up for 15 or best offer? I think I put it up for 15 or best offer. So, we'll see. I should think that's an item that would sell, like, overnight. But, you never know. Three pounds postage. It's actually 280, but I stick 20p on just for the time for packing it up. I don't actually charge for packaging, because I recycle it. But I think 20 pence for taking the time to sit there and wrap the bloody things up is no big deal. I know I'm not the only one that does things like that. I know some people, I've actually seen some people add 70 pence on the postage. Because <laughs> they offer second class post and over here for a small package, which is what that would be classed as. Because it's not very heavy either. <coughs> Bitch! I know exactly who that is. I'll be back in a minute. I've got this habit of trying to record while the camera's off. I don't know why I keep hitting the record button before I turn it on. Anyway, that was Mum. <laughs> um, she took my little brother... Oh, I can't remember what the place was called now. Somewhere in North Sea with my sister. For some reason my stepdad didn't want to go. Um, uh, <laughs> they didn't invite me because they didn't think I would uh, go anyway because it was quite um, busy. Uh, they're probably right, actually. I wouldn't. Probably wouldn't. Uh, so, yeah, there was something I was going to say, and it's completely gone now. Um, perhaps I should have had a piss before I put the camera back on. Ouch. Uh, da -da 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 Can I tuck that frame? I suppose. No, it won't go fears it. Well, it might do with the rack on it. I was just wondering if this would slide down there at the back with the rack on. 
it might add a squeeze. <laughs> a big squeeze. <sighs> now, this, since it's been sunny in the afternoons, Nemo likes to lay right on here in the sun. And I've cleared the window ledge in the bathroom because he likes to lay up there when the sun is shining on that side. Oh, and I will just say, if you walk into anywhere with a special offer selling these fucking lamps at either 99p or less, or in this case, six for four pounds, don't be tempted. None of the six that I bought function as they should. As you can see, there's two off, yeah? Two off and one very dim. If I do this, turn the light on, turn it off, they come back on. Now, if the batteries were dying, they would have started to dim out by now. But they will sit bright like that for, well, a certain length of time, and then they will just go off. See, that one's really dim. One of them, that one's actually stopped working altogether. I don't know if this one, I know this one's coming on before these two do. And that could be why that's quite dim now. They're actually using, believe it or not, they're using AAA rechargeable batteries. I'm not using the little lithium ones, like the ones that Poundland have. Uh, pardon me. So, uh, yeah, I want some decent solar lights in there. I may actually um, have to get something a bit more expensive. I was just hoping they would sit there and light up like that all night, but uh, no. As you can see, they're still bright. So they're obviously not turning off because of dead batteries. Because <clears throat> that quick blast from the fluorescent light wouldn't have charged them up. I'm actually wondering, because that's the second one I've put there that's done the same thing. So I'm wondering if it's actually getting enough sunlight to charge it there. But it shouldn't be any different to these two. Hmm. Intervesting. See if I can get something a bit different, maybe. I don't know. I'll see what we can get in town. Lidl's have been getting various ones in lately, so I'll have a look on what that there. Uh, yeah. I'll have a look at what they've got, is what I was trying to say. Uh, right, well, I'm going to disappear because it's getting late. I want to get this up and then go. And retire to the bedroom and I don't know, I'll think of something. I want to stick the laptop on, stick the TV on, watch some family guy, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Adios.